Hello. In this problem, we're going to go over solving rational functions. So what we're going to do first is recognize that we have an equal sign. So when we're solving, we're going to multiply everything by the common denominator. So first we find our common denominator. Our common denominator is going to be just like always, all the pieces of the, of the denominator that multiply together. So first we see we have an 8x, a 2x, and an 8. So we, have, we can clearly see 8x is that beginning part. 2x is already included. You can see the x is already there. And 2 times 4 is 8. So we don't need to include the 2 again. And 8 is already there on its own. So we do not need to include it again. So our common denominator is just 8x. Next, we're going to multiply everything by the common denominator. And after that, we're going to cancel. So I'm going to rewrite everything just so we can see it. It's a little bigger. And now we're going to cancel. We see the 8x and the 8x will fully cancel. And we're going to have a 13 left. We see the x and the x cancel. The 2 and the 8 cancel, leaving a 4. So when we rewrite this, we leave the numerator in parentheses and then bring that 4 also there. Next, we're going to cancel the 8s. And we can see we'll have 5 and x. Now you can see there are no more fractions. That is the goal we have when we solve rational equations is that we want to cancel and get rid of all denominators. And then we just have a normal algebra. Seven times four is 28 minus five X minus 28 minus 28. Negative 15 is equal to negative five X. We will divide by negative five we see that three is equal to X. Now, the last thing we need to do is check our original denominators and make sure we don't have restrictions. A denominator is never allowed to be zero. So what you need to do is take your common denominator and set it cannot equal zero. Solve for X, dividing both sides by eight. X cannot equal zero. The answer we got was three. So that is okay because it's not zero. If we got zero, then we would have an issue and there would be no solution. But since we have three, we are good to go and X is equal to three.